Big game for Arsenal tomorrow as they travel to Villa Park to take on Aston Villa tomorrow, Saturday, uh, 12 30 kickoff. So, a big game to bounce back and let's get into the preview. Start off with looking at the league table. Obviously, we move into second place instead of first place, but we do have a game in hand after we lost to Man City Wednesday night. And um, we've obviously uh, lost one, drawn one, and uh, lost another one in our last three. So, not on the best of form. And this is a good game to bounce back and remind ourselves how to win because we've not won ever since we beat Man United in the last minute. So, and if obviously if we win this, we go back top the league te temporarily as uh, Man City played Nottingham Forest away, which unfortunately I do think they'll win that as it's Man City. I don't see them dropping points to Nottingham and for us out of all teams and um, but hopefully they do us a favor but if not we have to win this just to keep in touch and distance of man city obviously joint points uh, but they are top goal because of goal difference we do have a game in hand about if we can beat villa we can go uh, top of the league and put some pressure on them so getting into the arsenal side of things obviously we've not been in the best of forms as i've just said been brilliant against their uh, tottenham and man united as uh, those six out of six points were brilliant but then we played everton away wasn't a good performance manager bounce lost that played brentford at home obviously there was a VAR decision which lee mason has now been sacked from the premier league but obviously we didn't uh, win that either and man city we played a good first half in my opinion but that second half they dominated and ended up deserving the win so we're no longer top of the league and this is a good game to try to reclaim our number one spot Arteta was talking about this in his press conference and it's obviously not an excuse but it's not ideal how we played Wednesday night and then now we have to play Saturday when we could have played Sunday perhaps they could have put us on but obviously TV really stuff like that as well so it is what it is we have to play straight away and perhaps that's a good thing to get that loss against Man City out of our system and bounce back straight away but rest wise obviously it's not ideal so that's why rotation is going to have to come into play and they'll obviously get into the lineups later but I do imagine people like uh, Jorginho will have to start because of injury and people like Trossard as well might get with game time him as well so we have to start using our squad because our squads obviously it's not like man city level but it is a good squad it's not just our starting 11 we do have some good players on the bench now so we do have to start utilizing this squad and obviously against their unai emery's aston villa it's not going to be an easy game it's imperative that we win this in my opinion because even the draw is not good enough because if we end up losing or drawing then man city win i think they'll be two three points ahead of us again and that's when the gap will start to get bigger and bigger so we have to make sure we keep in touching touching distance of man city for when we play our game in hand or if they decide to slip up so winning this game now if we don't win this it means we haven't won in four and we've obviously not already won in three so if we can win this and um, it'll be crucial and even not even a uh, big big win even just need to win it in my opinion either way because obviously we could try and get 2-3-0 something a big performance but even a 1-0 just a scrappy game and kind of that last year when we won 1-0 and we have to grind it out something like that because I just think a win is a win at the moment and we are des in desperate need of one Obviously, we play Leicester away next week, and then after that, we have a good run of, uh, run of fixtures. So, we have to start winning, uh, getting a winning streak again after um, the World Cup. So, we have to start continuing what we were doing before the World Cup and what we did a little bit after the World Cup. Just falling off a little bit, because maybe we're mental fatigue, physical fatigue, but we have to get back on track and start winning. And this is a very good game to try and win, obviously, because no, no game in the Prem is easy, obviously. So, Villa will be a tough, tough game, and they obviously do have their threats. But I believe we can win and we really, really should be winning this if we want to continue to play this league title. And um, some of our players have to st uh, start getting back in form as well. One thing we've not been doing as much is obviously scoring early goals because I think it's Brighton we did that and it turned out to be a comfortable performance. Against Villa, we need to try to get that early goal as well because we will be tired. We're not, I don't see us destroying them because they're a very good team under Unai Emery as well. Um, and we, I don't see us smashing them. I just hope to get a very good win. Whether that's a 1-0, 4-0, 3-1, 2-1, whatever, we just need a win. So let's hope we can do it and I believe. So as for the title race, we have to be winning this if we want to stay in it. Because as I said before, if we don't win this and maybe we drop points against Leicester, confidence will be right down the drain. And if Man City keep winning, that will just um, make it even worse. So we have to. This is a must win in my opinion. Obviously the others were must wins and we didn't end up winning. But it's a must, must win and we have to do the job against Aston Villa. Last thing, obviously, before we get into the Villa side is that if we don't win this game, we have to start looking behind us as much as I hate to say it. Because if we end up dropping points here, I think Man United play Leicester and make them two, three points, maybe four points behind us, something like that. And obviously, we want to widen that gap um, ahead of uh, third place. Because I've heard people talk about top four, or we just need to be lucky if we get into top four. I think we're 12 points away from fifth with a game in hand, so I think we should be alright. So I'm still looking at the title. Moving on to the Aston, Aston Villa point of view, and as you can see here, they're sitting in 11th, 28 games, uh, sorry, 28 points rather, and 22 games played. I think they're literally bang on mid-table, because as you can see, um, relegation zone, they're 10 points clear of that, 
and from sixth place they are seven points clear of that so maybe they could try get to europe if they are more consistent they i think they're safe from relegation i think they're literally just a bang on mid table team so i'm not sure if there is much to fight for this season obviously go for sixth obviously because you want to get that consistency and can they do it if they're inconsistent and they have some decent squad depth obviously <clears throat> obviously they can so but relegation is safe so maybe some would say this game isn't uh, mean as much for them but villa park they want to put a show, a show on for their fans and get a win as well after losing to leicester and man city recently so they will obviously try their best to win this game too so I am um, obviously Aston Villa. We played them two. We beat them rather two one at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, it was more uh, dominating than two one in my opinion. I think two one's a bit of a misleading scoreline, and that's when they had Gerrard obviously, and he's now been sacked. And uh, they got in Unai Emery, who had a very good start. Obviously beat Man United, had a good few results, and then but since after the World Cup, it's been a bit win loss, win loss draw. I think they lost to Liverpool. Had a couple of results in the last two performances. I think they conceded four at home to Leicester and then lost 3 1 to City, which is no shame in that. But the Leicester results probably particularly disappointing after taking the lead. So, Emery, we obviously know about Unai Emery because of his time at Arsenal and um, quite pragmatic at times, but very good at attacking. Defence a bit not great. It was kind of the same. What it is at Villa is at the defence. Obviously, they quite conceded quite a bit, conceding four against Leicester, as I said, which was surprising. And obviously, Man City. But their attack, they obviously do score goals two against Leicester but in that loss so it's a little bit like at Arsenal because when he was at Arsenal our defence wasn't great either especially in that Europa League uh, run but our attack was good so and um, obviously placed a 4-4-2 uh, unlike Gerrard so Unai Emery we obviously know him and uh, so we just need to try beat him obviously he's going to want to beat us to get one over us as well so as I said Aston Villa have mixed form so you don't really know which Aston Villa is going to turn up but as for their manager Unai Emery we obviously have played them with Arteta in the Europa League we they beat us 2-1 at their place and we drew nil at the Emirates and he went on to win the final um, with Villarreal it was beating Man United on penalties so brilliant manager he's a top top manager obviously it didn't work out at Arsenal which is unfortunate um, and he won the Europa League with Villarreal and then obviously went from Villarreal to Aston Villa when uh, Gerard got sacked our last few performances against Aston Villa, obviously, I think we beat them three times in a row, actually. Obviously, two under the end, but earlier this season. Last season, it was 1-0 with the Saka goal. And then that same season, we beat them 3-1, I think it was, at the Emirates too. But before that, I think they beat us back-to-back 3-0 at the Emirates. But that was COVID times, to be fair. And obviously, 1-0 at their place as well, with Ollie Watkins going. So, before that, they started beating us, but last two games we've beaten us, so hopefully uh, we've beaten them rather. So hopefully we can make that four in a row and uh, get another one over them. But yeah, a little bit more about Aston Villa. They're a good side. They're a good side, just not relegation, not um, top, very you know top top as well. But they're a solid side. They, they, will they play a low block at home? It's interesting because some people have called this similar to Everton and Brentford. Will they set up more defensive at home because Unai Emery can end up doing that sometimes. So maybe we'll have to, it may be another low block which we have struggled with recently. So we're going to find to dig deep in there, find a way to break that. Or maybe they may go attacking at home. One thing I could see is I don't see how um, <clears throat> we make a big clean sheet. But I do think we score because their defence is not great as I was saying before. And that's a typical thing under Unai Emery. None of his defences have really been top top tier but especially at Aston Villa you're not going to expect a top top tier defence so how far can he take Aston Villa I think he'll do a good job with them and um, so I'm, I think it's a good appointment in my opinion so he should be a good manager for them and uh, but we need to move on for Emery as we have with Arteta obviously so let's just say um, obviously former players Callum Chambers plays for them and uh, Martinez plays for them so hopefully they don't have great games obviously and uh, we, we just need to outdo Unai Emery and hopefully continue with our title charge Getting into team use for both teams, obviously start with Aston Villa, so the home team. Uh, Tywin Bings, usually he starts left centre back for them, but uh, it says here he trained on Thursday and Friday and will be assessed on Saturday morning to decide if he will face Arsenal. So not sure if he'll play yet, we'll have to see. Uh, Trial Ray Butch and Trial Ray Butch has continued to train without issue and will be included in the squad to face Arsenal on Saturday. I think he'll probably be on the bench. Uh, he's obviously just come back from injury. And Diego Carlos, Diego has returned to training with the group at um, the stadium, but he will uh, need time to uh, before he returns obviously so he's not gonna chuck him in straight after an injury for and that's for Aston Villa side. As for Arsenal, uh, Arteta said this in his press conference we have to assess uh, Thomas Partey again today 
uh, he has some muscle discomfort and we have to see how he is uh, and obviously Jesus and Elneny they're obviously out um, for uh, not end of the season time but a couple of months so Jesus might return in the month we have to see about that Arteta's not really given an update but as for this game none of them are going to play but somebody who will be in the squad is this, uh, Emil Smith Rowe as uh, Arteta said this in his press conference he is training today as you've seen in the pictures and he is fine he will be in the squad and leak lineups on Instagram, obviously, um, I've followed them for a long time there. They get uh, most things spot on, obviously, so I would actually trust the source. And they said Party did not arrive in the squad, but Smith Rowe did. So that pretty much confirms that Party will not be playing and uh, most likely will be Jorginho in that DM position. And uh, Smith Rowe will be in the squad. I highly, highly doubt he starts after all this time. Probably make the bench, hopefully. As for lineups, this is my predicted lineups for both. Obviously, start with Aston Villa. Uh, I've gone with a 4 4 2 because they've been playing that most games, if not every game that Unai has taken over. And he's, Martinez is playing, I think, in my opinion. Uh, Digne, Chambers, Konsa, Young, uh, Ramsey, Kamara, uh, Louise, Bundia, uh, Watkins, and Bailey. Um, I've gone for this because I think this is the exact same lineup he did play against Man City and maybe Leicester, I'm not 100% sure about. Uh, obviously he lost both games so maybe he'll change it up a bit but I don't think he'll change too much up to be honest because Unai Emery I don't think he really even takes the squad that much obviously but he might have a more options at Aston Villa so maybe he might change something up and uh, maybe stick in McGinn somewhere maybe play Ings although Ings might be injured I'm not 100% oh no Ings went to West Ham sorry so Ings won't be playing because he's not at Aston Villa anymore but as for their lineup I'm not 100% sure but I do think it will look uh, something like this he may obviously play Tywin Mings left in the back instead of Callum Chambers, but he's just come back from injury, so will he chuck him in straight away? Maybe if there's a minor injury and he's ready, he might, so he probably will be in the squad. Will he start? I'm not sure. That's why I put Chambers, but I would, it wouldn't surprise me if he plays a partnership of uh, Mings and Konsa. As for the Arsenal lineup, a uh, little bit to discuss about here actually. Uh, Ramsdale, Gabriel, Saliba, I think that's pretty obvious. I don't think he will change that up. Uh, Zinchenko and White are interesting because people have suggested give Tierney a game and maybe move Zinchenko into Xhaka's position or bench Zinchenko or uh, bench uh, Zinchenko or whatever, yeah, and they uh, play Tierney there and obviously uh, White and Tomiyasu because Tomiyasu played against Man City and he made a mistake, didn't really have a great game so will he chuck White back in or maybe keep Tomiyasu in for his confidence this one this one, I'm not really sure about, but Zinchenko I do think he'll stick with because he does like that inverted left back, whether he should chuck Tierney in that's another matter and he, maybe he should give him more game time as Tierney's not played much uh, White for Tommy Asso, I genuinely think this is 50-50, I'm not really sure, maybe he just rested the White and then right now I uh, had a week's rest, so maybe he will play against Villa, I'm not 100% sure about that one to be honest, but moving into the midfield, I've got Jorginho, Xhaka, Odegaard, um, again, Wilshere Zinchenko maybe will play in Xhaka's position, uh, but Jorginho will 100% start, obviously, with uh, Thomas Partey out. And he had a good game against Man City in my opinion, I thought he did quite well to be honest, He's probably our best midfielder on the day actually, so uh, I don't actually mind Jorginho starting, hopefully he continues it against Aston Villa and has a good game. As for the front three, I've gone in Ketia, Saka, Chorsad, I think Saka is a guaranteed starter. The problem is, well not problem, but the options is um, with uh, Chorsad and uh, Ketia. I've put in Chorsad because I do think Chorsad will finally get his first start, I think it is, uh, first Premier League start rather, he started against Man City in the FA Cup and he'll play in Ketia up front. Because I think in his press conference he was still putting faith in Nketiah lately so. So um, I don't think he'll play Martinelli in this game. Maybe rest him because of form or whatever. Um, whatever. So maybe he can put Trossard in Nketiah's position and Martinelli on the left as people have suggested. But I think he'll do this as he'll still want that box presence, that link up play. And hopefully Nketiah, if he gets any chances, he puts us away against Aston Villa. This lineup I wouldn't mind. Maybe he should rotate more. Maybe have more faith in Vieira any people like that because he's only rotated not really rotated much obviously and uh, if we don't win this then people are going to say he should have rotated more but i think he will go for this i don't think he will change too much and maybe he probably should to be honest because maybe because the team is getting a little bit tired and should maybe rest people up a bit but i still see him sticking with his principles but i am excited to see Chossard start his first premier league game if he starts that is but i do think he will hopefully and uh, maybe martinelli will play up front play on the left but in my opinion i think that'll be the front three and that'll be the team but we have to wait and see until tomorrow what Arteta puts out and that's it for this preview guys, thank you guys so much for watching, obviously lots of reviews and previews at the moment because uh, we're playing a game soon but we don't play a game till Leicester away after this game so 
um, obviously it won't be a preview till then but uh, let me know what you thought of um, after this uh, preview obviously uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments uh, what would your predicted lineup be what do you think about Aston Villa if you're an Aston Villa fan let me know as well uh, but us Arsenal fans as well let me know what you think your predicted lineup will be will Charles start do you think we should rotate more do you not think we should maybe we should face into the same team uh, what are your thoughts on the Arsenal form let me know your score predictions too my score prediction I thought about this I don't think it'll be like a comfortable 3-4-0 something like that because fatigue as well and Aston Villa have obviously had a week's rest which is something to take into account so I'm going to go for I think I was thinking 1 or 2 nil. I'm going to say 2 nil Arsenal something like that but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a 1 nil or even a draw but hopefully we get a nice 2 nil win or even 1 nil win we just need a win in my opinion so let me know your predictions here in the comment section below like subscribe and uh, thanks for watching